guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a simple gliding aeroplane. For this you're going to need a single piece of A4 paper and that's just about it. So your first step is to take your piece of A4 paper, make it portrait, take one corner and fold it down until it just touches the corner up there, pinch in the bottom and then stretch along to make a triangle. Then unfold it and repeat by taking this corner and folding it down to there. Try and make it so that all the lines on your sheets line up. Pinch in the middle, smooth down with your fingers, unfold it, and you should have a crease that looks like this. The next part is the tricky part. You're going to want to take your fingers, rest them there, and then gently push in from the sides. I'll move it up so you can see. And give it a gentle pinch so you get that nice little cross-shaped triangle in the middle. And then gently squeeze that down. Then, making sure these are lined up, gently press down on there, smooth with your thumb, and then it's smoothing down with your fingers. If you've done it correctly, it should look like this from end on. Once you've done that, make sure your lines are nice and creased. Then, holding down the middle, take the top flap here and fold it up so it touches the top of your plane. Then, using your finger, smooth along there. Repeat on the other sides, point up to the top, smooth with a finger until you get what looks like a diamond shape at the top there. Next up, gently rest your thumbs on here, tuck your nails underneath and fold the whole of the top bit down to the middle there. Then things in the middle, smooth across and then smooth on the other side. You're going to start to feel it getting a little bit thick here but that's absolutely fine. Next step, turn your, your plane sideways on and now you've got, you can see the, the shape of the wing there and the shape of the other wing there. So, down here, you want to fold the plane exactly in half so the tips of the wings just touch the edges there. Finger at the top and smooth along. And then for the thick bit here, you're going to need to really press down. For this bit, I like to pick it up and actually properly pinch it with your, between finger and thumb so you get that shape. Next up, you're going to do a fold at the top here, and this is going to define how much you hold the plane by. A generally good rule is put your thumb out, rest it against there, and that's roughly how much you want to fold it up by. So for me, that's about a centimetre and a half. So, take your fingers there, fold it up, just like that. And what you want to do is make sure the back of the wing is flat against there. If it's flat, then you know that you've got it nice and straight all the way down to the end of the nose there. Once again, pick it up, pinch it with your finger and foot and thumb. Then, turn over the whole plane. You should have that shape there. And then, repeat it exactly the same distance from the middle on this side. So holding it between your finger and your forefinger, fold it back over this way, lining up the end of the wing here, pinch, smooth, same with the nose, you're going to need to push nice and hard against it this one, so you get that nice shape at the front. Then if you unfold it, you can now see you've got that lovely weighted nose which is going to give your plane a really good glide when it's up in the air. You've also got a nice pair of flat wings which are the same shape. Now one thing you can do for stabilising is if you fold it out like that, so you've got the wings there, is to gently fold in each wing about a centimetre each. It doesn't have to be a huge amount, although I have noticed that the longer this section, these, these parts here, the generally the more stable it tends to be. So, repeat on the other sides. Again, try and aim for the same amount each side. If you manage to keep it symmetrical, then your plane should fly nice and straight. There you go. Gently tip those up, and there you have it. Your glider is complete. One final tip you can do, which I found helps with the glider looping around in circles, is you can flatten out your wings like this, then take your whole wing and fold the wing into the middle so that the edge just lines up with the middle, making sure it's parallel at the back, smooth down on the edge, and smooth towards the front. Then flip it over and do the same on the other wing, folding it right into the centre, making sure it's parallel on the back, pinch and spread, pinch and spread. Then finally, hold it at the front there, gently unfold your wings, and you should have a plane that looks like that from sideways on. Very simple glider, only a couple of minutes to make, and once, once you've thrown that up in the air, you'll find the glider should flatten out and then start to go around in gentle circles. If you want to change the size of the circle, all you need to do is change the pitch of one of the wings on the sides. If this one stays totally at 90 degrees there, and this one is at a slightly larger angle, you'll find it will bend around one direction more. Play around with the different angles of your wings and you should find you can make your plane fly in different circles 
and with the right angle, you can throw the plane and it will come straight back to you. There you go, very simple glider guys. I'd love to see your pictures and your videos. Take a video, have a make, let me know how you get on. Thanks for watching.